Good morning, guys. I am looking crusty. Well, actually, I'm not. Okay, let's back that up. Having double jointed fingers means literally if I twice. Okay, I sound like I have a speech impediment. I'm starting over. Having double jointed fingers means when I stick my finger up, it like just bends weird. Anyway, good morning, everybody. I am looking incomplete because I'm not done with my makeup yet, but I just put in my moisturizing eye drops, which I, as you guys might already know, I was on Accutane and it caused some vision issues towards the end of the Accutane, so I had to get glasses, but I've been very consistent about putting in my eye drops every day. They're like moisturizing eye drops and I feel like my vision is so much better. I still need my glasses sometimes at school, but I feel like it's helped. Probably going off of Accutane was the you know biggest helper, but I just feel like the eye drops have to do something with it, so. Anyways, I am partially ready for the day. I'm about to to do my hair and then I'll finish my makeup, but I'm so excited because today I'm going up to Park City with my boyfriend. His name is Brock and I'm just so excited to go. Park City's so fun. It's only like 25-ish minutes away from where we live. And so it's a quick little drive and we're just making a little day trip out of it. I've said a little like six times now. I got invited to go to the Free People. They have a shopping event. They did this um, a year ago for Sundance and Evelyn and I and Amanda I think went, but Evelyn's flying out of town today, which is sad. So she wasn't able to make it and then man has puns with their friends. It's weird when your little siblings start developing their own personal lives and you're like, this is weird. But she's been like that for a little while, so it's not that weird anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my hair. I think today I'm just gonna round brush it under. Um, breakfast was delicious, by the way. Thank you for asking. I like using this brush right here. This is from Amazon. If I've already round brushed my hair and it's day two or three hair, I love using this brush because it touches it up, but I don't feel like it's enough heat for me to do it the first time. It kind of takes forever. So I'm just going to do my straightening iron today to round brush my hair because it's a little bit quicker. So let's do that. Someone on TikTok made a video of them dancing to the like Empire of the Sun song. The one where it's like, I can't do one when I'm picking a limb, but no try. But I got tagged in it by my friend Ellie because she's like, look how cute the caption in the comments and all the caption was like, I discovered the song in 2018 because of more like Catherine and her playlist videos. And then all the comments were, a lot of them were just pretty much saying like, oh my gosh, I used to watch her too. Like I loved her videos. I love like playlist videos. And so I thought that was so cute. So I do added that on TikTok and then like I got another comment it was on the separate post but they're like it's kind of a little bit of a hater comment i'm not gonna lie but someone had commented and they said you're not goofy in your videos anymore i comments don't really like it. negative comments they just never have affected me which i'm grateful for but like i just don't take it very personally my red bunny ears but that one comment it didn't even affect me negatively i was just more like oh like i know i'm i don't feel like i'm very goofy in my videos anymore but i have an explanation and i have a story time reason for you guys so just i don't like this angle though so i'll tell you when my hair's done <laughs> i wish i had a trip on okay hair is done i miss my long hair but my long hair would never get this type of like volume and look i'm enjoying and trying to embrace the short hair and i feel like doing hairstyles like this makes me love it it's so cute and it's so quick like this took five minutes i literally let me just quickly literally just this is i think a 20 dollars straightener from target but i just take a piece i section off my hair into three sections like i like this and then i pin it up so i work in smaller sections and then i just clamp make sure you use heat protectant but i literally just clamp down like this and then turn and then it gives this curl and then i let it set like i cool it so then i take a brush and i wrap it up and just let it sit like that for a few seconds and then i let go i feel like using the straight iron because it's double the heat, it's double the damage as well too, but it also, I don't use this very often, but I feel like it makes my hairstyle also like last all day, which is super nice. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and while I do that, I'll tell you guys why I am not so goofy anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my eye makeup, but someone, like I had said, had commented saying, you're like not goofy in your videos anymore, which Thank you to whoever commented that. I'm genuinely not offended. I feel like it's, if anything, you must be a really true friend because I think it's actually sweet that someone commented that because that means they've been watching long enough to like know that I used to be goofier in my videos. But um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you would know that I grew up making YouTube videos with my sister, her name's Evelyn. If you didn't know who she was, she's eight years older than I am. And when she was 20 and I was 12, she had the idea to start the YouTube channel. And so we literally filmed all of our YouTube videos together. So she would film them. I She wouldn't really be in them. Up until two years ago when she moved away and got married, we filmed everything together. And so I feel like whenever we would film YouTube videos, she would, I feel like either not just relax me a lot to be on camera, but she would also just we would have funny commentary together. So I feel like the videos I'd film with her, it would really just be a monologue of like 
her and I having a conversation and kind of just goofing off. And so naturally so, when she would edit herself out of the video, it would just make me look like I'm being really goofy by myself. When in reality, like she was behind camera making me laugh. And I feel like I also used to film my family a ton and I love to laugh with my family. I feel like we can all get very goofy together when we're all together. But that's another thing that like, as we've gotten older, People, my siblings have gotten married. A lot of them have moved out. It's literally just my little sister Amanda living at home now. So that's another factor too, where I'm not at home filming these videos where all my siblings are home too. Like everyone's gone. And so nowadays when I film YouTube videos, it's just me, which I enjoy my own company. And I feel like I can, I still have fun making YouTube videos, but it's just different now. Cause I feel like I'm not as apt to be so goofy. Cause I'm just by myself. There are people that literally are just funny period. And they don't even need anyone to be with them to be funny. One of those people is like Brittany Broski. I think it Broski, Broski? I don't know what her last name is. I think it's something like that on TikTok. She's hilarious. And she literally has a podcast and it's just her, which boggles my mind because she's so funny. And so that means she's literally making herself crack up like alone in a room, which is I think even funnier. It makes the podcast funnier, but I don't feel like I have necessarily that ability to just be funny on my own. Like I need someone to. Okay, we're good, she's gone. It's not an excuse for why I'm, uh, I'm like, this is why I'm not funny anymore. It's just more like, this is why I feel like my videos have a different feel than when they, what they probably did growing up is because there's a whole different environment now. Like I'm literally alone filming my videos in my own apartment versus growing up, it was me with my family and my sister was always there filming the videos. So it just is different. I honestly though love making YouTube videos still because I feel like it's, my channel's always a raw. Ow! Just pinch myself. Oh, that really hurt. My channel's always revolved around me. And like, I sometimes think it's so vain that anyone does social media, but then I do it too. So it's like, but my channel has literally always just revolved around like me and my life and what's going on in my life. And so I feel like I still really enjoy making YouTube videos because my videos aren't so niche where they feel repetitive to me because it's just videos on my life. And so I, since my life has evolved and I'm not like living at home with my family anymore, my videos still feel like really natural to me and I still enjoy making them. So there's my little excuse pretty much. YouTube is also just a different space than it was in 2018. Like if you've grown up watching YouTube, you would know that. It, there's just different content creators, different styles of content now. And so I think it's only natural for people that have been making YouTube videos that long to also kind of change the progress. Anyway, I still love being goofy. Like that is, I don't feel like I'm very unique in the sense, like growing up, I feel like everyone has a goofy side. That's just a matter of fact, but I genuinely love being goofy and I love laughing and I love having a good time. It's just not captured on camera so much anymore because of the nature of me being alone. And also most of my videos now, I don't really film when I'm with my family because it's also just different now. Like I feel, I still struggle so much with feeling comfortable bringing out my camera in front of other people. I filmed a video with Ava, which it was literally a sweetheart angel, but even her being a sweetheart angel, like I still felt slightly uncomfortable being like, hey, can we film a video together? Because I just don't know, I don't know what it is. Like I just get so uncomfortable. Even today, like I don't even know how much I'm gonna really vlog with Brock because I just, it's not that anyone's making me feel uncomfortable. I'm just making myself uncomfortable. So it's more of a mental thing that I need to overcome. And like, I wish I had my mom. If you guys know my mom, like seven Henry's, she is unfazed. She has this secret ability, secret talent ability to just film literally whenever, wherever. And I often would get embarrassed <laughs> growing up because of that. But I, now that I'm older, I'm like, Ugh. I just need a drop of that confidence and that would probably get me a lot further than where I'm already at because her ability to film and not care, I think is admirable in a way. Um, obviously she's like respectful and she films, you know, if someone doesn't want to be filmed, she won't film them. I do think just her confidence more so to pull out the camera is what every YouTuber needs and kind of wishes they had. And she definitely has it. So anyone in this world could have like a million followers. I honestly wish my mom could because I feel like she genuinely loves sharing her life so much. And I feel like she, she's funny. Like she's, my mom's funny. I don't know how many moms are funny, but like I know my mom is. And so I feel like she deserves an audience. If you guys have watched Skillet Charlie and you know the mom, Amy Duncan, that's literally my mom. Like that's my mom <laughs> and she's so cute and I love her. I love her for it. Um, but I just feel like it's just a different setting, different environment nowadays. And so I don't have kind of the same 
feeling as my videos used to have, which is totally okay because people change and grow up and evolve. And I think I appreciate that season of life of like 2018 YouTube videos because it was fun because that was what I was doing at the time. And now it's kind of a little bit of a different vibe, but I'm just grateful for anyone that like still follows and sticks around. I think that's so fun that we're able to kind of grow up together. Oh, I haven't even done my eyebrows. I'm like, why does my makeup look off? It's never insulting, but it's always kind of funny when people are like, oh my gosh, because I've met people in real life too. And they're like, you look so familiar. And then sometimes I'll be like, oh, well, I used to make YouTube videos. And they're like, oh my gosh, I used to love you. And I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> like, you used to, what about now? I'm kidding. But I do think it's funny because I feel like I had a very different audience back in 2018, 2019 than I do even now. I feel like 2020 is when it started to change a lot because that's when a ton of other content creators started popping up. I'm just grateful for everyone that's here. And if you're watching this video, like that is so sweet. Taking the time to do that. I'm supposed to leave in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna change and peace out. Brock doesn't love me on camera. So we'll see what type of footage I get today because I want to respect him. And I also like, but it's funny because that man is literally my number one fan. He'll mention YouTube videos from like 2018. I'm like, you watched that? And you quoted a very specific part. I'm like, you literally watched that video. And he does it all the time. Yesterday we were talking and then he went like this. He was like, deuces. And I was like, that is from a very specific YouTube video in 2020 when I went on a date. You're a fan, fan behavior. Okay, so I'm gonna change and then let's leave. Peace out. Okay, here is the outfit of the day. This jacket is free people. I feel like it was only fitting to wear free people clothes because going to the free people event. And then I'm wearing free people boots. And then these jeans are from Madewell. And then this is a white tank top. This is from Bohm. So that's the outfit of the day, super cute. This is actually the outfit I was gifted to. This jacket I was gifted from my management company back when I went to the trip to Oregon in October, but it's actually such a nice quality jacket. The more I've worn free people clothing, the more impressed I have been with it. I feel like it's very expensive, but I do feel like the quality is amazing. So anyway, but we're gonna head out now to Park City. So we'll not buy you guys. Are, you're gonna see me in like two seconds. So I'm saying they're in my... Do you want to be in a video? Yeah. Aww. Okay, <laughs> well introduce yourself so they know who you are. Oh, hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Marla's best friend. You make the comments on all the Instagram oh, posts. Guys, I don't know if you have noticed, but there's always someone named Blake that comments on my photos. That's <laughs> him. Please like my comments. Please support him. He's a he's a starving artist. And I'm Marla's bestest friend in the whole wide world. So that you're is seeing a lot more. Of me. I'm maybe I'm your best friend. That was rude. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> don't expect to see any more comments. There will be no. I drop it. Add to favorites. Okay. Do the do the luxury one. No. Brock wants to do a luxury. Stop. It shows you the price. Yeah. They're all zero dollars. Okay. We don't need a premium. Okay, we are here in Park City. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't be filming me. Okay, hi guys. Today we're in Park City. We're going to the Free People store for the event, and it's gonna be super fun. We're probably hopefully gonna go to Devanza's too for pizza because I love Devanza's. Come here. I guess I'm just confused. I can feel like this is this is not good vlog footage, Brock. <laughs> It should have a oh, red button and it's done. The first time I met Brock, I thought he was like a Instagram art ho. Okay, say just say hi. Hi, you're so sweet. Nice to meet you guys. Don't close the door, close the door. Okay, we finished up at Free People. It was really, I feel like I was literally nervous. I don't know why I felt so awkward. Brock is now recording me, he's outside waiting. But we're gonna go ahead and get burgers at Chom and I'm excited, Chom is one of my favorite places. I don't go there very often because it's honestly kind of expensive, but um, today we're gonna splurge and have a good little lunch. So I think that's pretty much it. But um, I'm gonna do a haul for you guys when I get back. I got some, I got one of my favorite coats and so I'm so excited. Um, so we'll do a little try and haul for you guys when, later. So. Oh, okay, I got the chicken club and fries. The shake. Oh, I'm close to you guys. 
Hi everybody, it is the next day and we ended up going to Chomburger for dinner and then I ended up going to bed literally at nine, like I was ready to go to bed by like nine, 9.30. I think I fell asleep by like 10.30, um, 11 maybe at the latest, but like I was in bed so early last night and it was honestly really nice. I got a full 10 hours of sleep. So yesterday was really chill, it was super good, but I wanted to give you guys a quick haul of what I purchased from Free People yesterday. Free People is so generous. I did this shopping event with them a year ago in January of 2020 and it was a really fun time. I went with my sisters. I don't know if we were doing like an overnight trip, but we've gone to Park City before my sisters and I. And so I remember we visited the Free People event like last year. So it's fun that's like already been a year already. I feel like that went by very quick. Just to give you guys the inside scoop, Free People was so kind and they extended the offer of, it's a $250 shopping credit plus 40% off whatever you do buy. So I got one of my all time favorite coats from them. If you guys know, I literally wear my, it's like a pink orange coat and it's from Free People. I purchased it in 2020 and I still to this day gravitate towards it. It's one of my favorite coats. I feel like it keeps me very warm and I love the color, but they are pretty expensive coats. They're about, I think $200, which is a lot for one item of clothing. <laughs> These coats are $198, so it's definitely very expensive for one piece of clothing. But I will say, if you are thinking about purchasing anything from Free People, I would like invest in their coats because I feel like their coats keep me really warm and they're really cute. And the amount of times I've worn them, I feel like it's worth the price. So, but because they offered such a generous deal, I was like, I want to get, I've seen this coat before and I've seen it in this color and it was there at the store and it was adorable and they had my size. So I went ahead and got it. This is in the shade Sport Green. And this is, I think it's, called the Pippa Co. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll have a link down below in the description box. I got it in this beautiful green color and I'm so excited to style this with my winter outfits. I feel like I even wear it during the summer for like bonfires when it's cold at night. That's what I purchased. And then I got the top that I'm wearing right now. It's just this oversized sweater, but I think it's so cute. Um, I love grabbing. Something I've been realizing is that I love comfort, obviously, but I feel like my only comfortable clothes that I have is sweats or pajamas. Something I'd love to invest in for clothing is is good quality loungewear. So items that I feel really cute in still, but they're super comfortable. And I do feel like this is even a sweatshirt where it's a regular sweatshirt, but it has like really cute detailing, like the tan on the sleeves, the embroidery of the blue right here, the stitching. I love the blue and red color combo. Okay, and then the last item that I got, I left it in the bathroom because I wore it and then I washed it. So it's like an exercise outfit, but my roommate's in there showering now. So I don't know how long, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'll insert it right here. It's the most adorable pink workout set. I got this because I, they actually had a pink workout bra there that I thought was so cute and I wanted to get it, but they didn't have it my size. So I got this because I think it's gonna be so fun to wear during the summer when it's warm outside and I feel tan and we're playing pickleball or something. So those were the three items that I got, which I feel so fortunate to have gotten. Um, and also just free people, the store is so cute. It's a fun experience to go so but today I am going over to my family's house for Sunday dinner today is Sunday and church was super good I went and just made lunch afterwards and now we're gonna head over I'm probably just gonna it's only oh, it's 1 40 so it's not even 2 yet and I don't think I'm gonna be leaving till like 4 30 so I think that's it for today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have such a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.